We begin this bulletin with a keen eye on the operation to flash out bandits in Kario Valley and the North Rift just days after President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered that the military be deployed to the troubled region to restore law and order. The Kenya Defense Forces will be sent to parts of Baringo, Elgeo Marakwet, and West Pokot and Laikipia counties. Their deployment follows bloodletting by bandits who have been slaughtering villagers at will. The attacks have left over dozens of people dead since January. Scores, mainly women and children, are fighting for their lives in hospitals after literally wriggling out of the jaws of death. All right, let's now speak to our reporter, Elvis Kusgay on phone. He's joining us live from Sigor constituency in El Geo, Marraquet. Elvis, so while giving the order, President Uhuru Kenyatta said that bandits are enemies of the state and the Kenya Defense Forces may be the only solution to the bloodletting in the area. What exactly do, are the residents saying? Thank you very much, Akisa. I'm in Sigor constituency, West Pokot County where there have been mixed reactions from residents here. Some have welcomed the move uh, or the orders by President Uru Kenyatta to deploy the Kenya Defense Forces, but others say that the move uh, is uncalled for because they are getting one community. According to some leaders who have managed to speak to, including the chairman of uh, Ch Security Committee in Parliament, Aspen Kamama, uh, he, he, has raised he has raised concern over several issues. Uh, one, he said that uh, security officers uh, touched or burnt down houses in a place called Loruk and Chepkalacha, uh, that is in Tiaki constituency. And they say, uh, and he said if the officers have to be involved in touching down houses, then that is banditry from uh, security officers. Uh, Kamama says that the, the, the officers need to conduct the operation in, in a good manner and follow, uh, and follow the law to the latter. Uh, he also says that operation, that operation must have the human test because the mandate of security officers is to protect lives and properties of, res of residents in different areas. So he says that he does not oppose the move, but uh, he is just raising a concern that the government should be careful while uh, conducting this operation at Well, he'll be getting more details.